I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. Just three sites in Chattanooga account for nearly 25% of the city's homicides. Those three sites are Chattanooga's oldest and largest public housing complexes, Emma Wheeler, East Lake Courts, and College Hill Courts. In the past, the city's public housing system has averaged about one homicide per year, but last year, six of the city's 27 victims were killed at public housing. The most dangerous site was College Hill Courts. Already this year, a 20-year-old woman was shot to death there, and a one-year-old girl was critically wounded. Thirteen people have been charged in a prostitution raid in Chattanooga. The sting happened in the East Lake and Oak Grove neighborhoods. Deborah Raines, Wendy Smith, Shannon Speck, and Marion Hurd were all charged with prostitution. Five men were charged with patronizing prostitution. The other citations were for gambling or obstruction. Walnut Street Bridge will be closed for a bridge inspection this week. The bridge will be closed from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and possibly Saturday. TDOT says the work is contingent on favorable weather. Police say a Chattanooga teen accidentally shot himself while he was adjusting a gun in his pants. It happened on South Seminole Drive Saturday afternoon. 19-year-old Tristan Rogers was treated at a hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. A Hamilton County prison guard has been arrested for smuggling drugs into work. 25-year-old Lucas Lorenzo Collins of East Ridge was working for Correctional Corporation of America. The contraband was found by detectives when he arrived at work. He was booked into jail and released on a $31,000 bond. Radio Shack may close seven stores in the Chattanooga area. A list of potential closings includes stores at Hamilton Place and Northgate Malls, plus locations in Dalton, Rome, and Scottsboro. If they all close, the only remaining Chattanooga Radio Shack would be on Dayton Boulevard. In addition, six stores may close in Knoxville and Nashville, and more than a dozen could disappear in Atlanta. The closings come after Radio Shack declared bankruptcy last week. A person was killed in a fire on Suck Creek Road Friday. The area is just outside Chattanooga city limits, which prevented the Chattanooga Fire Department from being the first to respond. Chattanooga had a station three miles away from the scene, but another department had to travel from twice that distance. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Students at Cleveland City Schools will be getting laptops. The school board has approved a plan to provide close to 2,000 computers over the next two years. If all goes according to plan, students from fourth grade up will be issued laptops they can use at school and at home. The total cost will be close to $740,000. Dalton police are looking for a man they say stole $600 that he found at a gas station. The money was accidentally dropped by another man January 12th at the racetrack on Chattanooga Road. Anyone with information is asked to call Dalton Police. The Hamilton County Health Department is ending primary care services in Ottawa. Officials say the change is necessary because too few primary care patients were using the clinic. The center will continue providing vaccinations and prenatal care. Finally, if Bob Corker does decide to run for president, he may have a tough time persuading people to vote for him. A new poll found that just 11% of Tennesseans say Corker should run for the Oval Office. 41% think he shouldn't. The rest were undecided. The survey was conducted by Middle Tennessee State University. Turning to weather, today will be cloudy with a high near 55 degrees. The low tonight will be around 34. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.